Now, one of the best features of Reaper is how stable it is. In other words, it's not going to crash on us while we're doing our recording, which makes it perfect for things like recording a live performance or a podcast or anything where you're recording for a long time and you don't want your computer to crash and lose everything. But there is one issue with that. I have some tracks set up over here with four mics. I can go into record and start recording my podcast or live performance. But what could happen is I could accidentally lean on my keyboard and hit the space bar. And that's going to stop the recording and basically ruin it. So we don't want that. So we want a way we could avoid doing that or make it much harder to stop recording and basically lock recording to be on. Well, one thing we could do is we can go into record, go up here to the file menu and create a new project tab. So now we're working with a different project. And if I hit the space bar, it starts playing that project. But the original project over here is still recording, as we can see. So anything we do in here is not going to affect the recording in here. But of course, we can't make any adjustments or see any recording levels we're doing. So it's not a great solution. Instead, we could just change the keyboard shortcuts for our transport. Let's go up here to the Actions menu, Show Action List, and type into the filter Transport. And over here are all the actions for working with the Reaper Transport. Our space bar, go into Record, and a few other things. We could simply turn these actions off or delete them so we can't accidentally trigger them during the recording. But with Reaper, there's a better way. Right over here is our main section for our keyboard shortcuts and our actions. If you notice, there's also a section called Main Alt Recording. If we choose this, in this section are all the keyboard shortcuts that are only going to work during recording. And as you can see, by default, none of them are assigned. So during recording, we could have no keyboard shortcuts working. But in order for this to work, we have to turn on a preference. Let's go to our preferences, control P on the PC, command comma on the Mac. And that opens up our preferences. We'll go to the tab for keyboard and choose the option over here. Use alternate keyboard section when recording. This will change the keyboard shortcuts we use to the alt recording section instead, but only during recording. Hit OK. Go back to our actions. And again, if we go to the alt recording section, we'll see there's no keyboard shortcuts assigned in here. So with that preference turned on, we can go into record by hitting the button over here or using the keyboard shortcut Control R on PC or Command R for Mac, as it's still going to work because we're not recording yet. Hit it. Now we're recording. Now if we hit the space bar, it's not going to stop recording. In fact, we could type any key we want and none of them are going to work. We can click over here. It's not going to reset our transport. We could adjust our levels over here and it's not going to change or stop the recording. The only way we could stop playback now is by hitting the button over here, either record or stop on the transport. So now we stopped the recording. So we can only do it with the transport. And to be more cautious, to not accidentally hit this button, we could hide the transport. We can go into record, go to view, hide the transport. Now we don't see it. Now any keyboard shortcut we hit isn't going to affect recording. It's not going to stop it. It's not going to come out of record. And there's no button over here to hit. And we're done. Go back to view, view the transport again. And now we can hit stop. And it stops the recording. But we could also assign other keyboard shortcuts in the alt recording section. For example, the keyboard shortcut to hide and show the transport is all control T on the PC, option command T on the Mac. But that's not going to work during recording. Hit it now. It doesn't hide and show the transport because we're using the old recording keyboard shortcuts. If you want that to work, 
we need to put them in here. Switch it to all recording. Here's the action. Assign that keyboard shortcut here, which is the same as the default. And now, during recording, we could hit the keyboard shortcut and it hides the transport. Hit it again to see it. So we could hide the transport, not have to worry about accidentally hitting any keyboard shortcuts like the space bar as they don't work. View the transport again and hit stop over here. And now we could stop our recording. Or we could assign a keyboard shortcut to stop the transport, but make it hard to trigger. Go back to our actions, go back to the section or recording and find the action for playing and stop, which is normally the space bar. And we'll assign it all the modifiers we could use and a key that's hard to hit. For me, the furthest key on the right side is the number nine. So if we hit that, there's a keyboard shortcut that's pretty hard to hit accidentally. So even if we lean on our keyboard, we're not gonna hit this keyboard shortcut. Hit okay. And this is just gonna work again during recording. So we can go into record, we could hide our transport so we don't accidentally hit the button. We can click any way we want, hit the space bar, click in the transport, select our tracks, readjust their levels, anything we want, and it's not gonna affect our recording. But now we could hit that keyboard shortcut we created, and now it will stop the recording. So if you still wanna use a keyboard shortcut, but make it almost impossible to accidentally hit, we could do it that way. Or we could just hide our transport so we can't hit it accidentally and show it again and hit the stop button then. And it finally stops our recording. And what's nice about this, if you only wanna work like this, sometimes we can go back to our preferences and just turn this option off, which is off by default, so all your keyboard shortcuts will work the same with that preference turned off, even when we're recording. So now I could hit the space bar and it stops it. We'll come out of record by hitting the record button and it comes out of record. So that's pretty much it. That's how to lock the record button on in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.